Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to jump back with iter tools. And we're going to look at uh, zip longest, <clears throat> that method. So all right, here's one thing that I really need to show you of the significance of that. So all right. So all right, okay, the ice the ice iterable argument. Let's read this it returns the shortest okay so when i showed you zip what i did is i showed you two that matched well this let me show you what zip does and then i'll show you why iter tools zip longest is around iter tools because let's look at help iter tools dot zip longest. It grabs the longest iterable sequence. So all right, let's give you guys an example right here and let's use zip. So we have here's a perfect scenario where we have students and we have grades. So with zip, that's students and grades, and I forgot a parentheses. So all right, let's run this. So we call roll, and if, so okay. We only have names of three students because it's going to grab the shortest. Well, what happens if um, Tom didn't have a grade? So let's use iter tools dot zip dot longest. Now, before I hit this, let me show you what this says. This has a optional argument of fill value of none. So if it's missing one, it's going to fill it with none. Let's run this. Let's call roll again. So Tom gets none, but really Tom should get a zero. So what is it? Uh, fill, let's look, fill value. Let's bring this over here so you can see how we use it. Fill value equals, he gets a zero. So now when I call the roll, Tom gets a zero. So real quick video today, and this was the Long, excuse me, zip longest method from iter tools of how to handle not matching iterables. So zip does the shortest and there is a way to handle it to do the longest and that is under the iter tools module. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and most important, the notification bell. And uh, please leave any comments, questions, or my all-time favorite, any video requests, and I'll get right to them. So thanks as always, guys. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.